Hi everyone and welcome back on adobelive.com for one more hour of creativity. We have a lot of guests today and our second guest, actually we have two. We have Seed. Hello. 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 So Seed, who's a creative resident and thanks for being with us in the chat on adobelive.com. We really appreciate it. Yes. Maybe you can let us know in the chat where you are from. Okay. Uh, we are streaming from uh, San Diego in California. Seed, where do you live? I'm in Sarasota, Florida. In Florida? Mm -hmm. Nice. Crocodiles. Mm. Alligators. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's very dangerous. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Stefan and I actually we live in the same city. Yes. And uh, we work in the same office. Yes. Paris. Forever. You can guess. For Paris. ten years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, from Paris. Uh, so Stefan and I we we did a lot of uh, creative collaborations too. Maybe we can share one or two projects with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fast. But first, it's all about seed. A seed. Yeah. <laughs> you were uh, on the big screen during the keynote. I was. Yes. That was crazy. And look I at that. We have people from Norway, Belgium. <laughs> well, Florida. Texas, Cal yes. Canada. Oh, France too. Yeah. And people from France. Yes. Yeah. Florida. And Tampa. Florida. Wow. And Sarasota. That's wow. good. So let me show you your... Uh, so this is your Behance portfolio, uh, Sid. Yeah. Um, so Sid, maybe you can tell me what is your... Uh, <laughs> which project I should show. So, the crazy um, pigeon? I'm, <laughs> we can start there, I <laughs> yeah. guess. Um, Trash okay. doves. Yeah, so I am a streamer. I stream on Twitch.tv, uh, my own personal channel and the Adobe channel. A couple weeks ago, I they released the iOS 10 update, and you can put stickers in chat. So I made I had an them. entire... I have them, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made a sticker pack. They're called Trash Doves. They're just like some pigeons, and there's a bunch of anima or animated ones. Um, I just released an update the other day, if you haven't gotten it, it's yeah. free. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I kind of have been known for the pigeons lately. Ooh, <laughs> I spend, yeah, I, I go into Twitch chats, and you know, in, in Twitch you get shout outs from other streamers, and everyone's like, Sid made these pigeon stickers. And I'm like, I spend so much time on my real work, you guys. <laughs> Please look at it. <laughs> but yes, I have pigeons. I've made pigeon stickers. So these are animation that you create in Photoshop? Yes, I did okay. all of these and I streamed over a weekend. I made 25 stickers, 10 of them were animated over two seven hour streams. And then they were on the app store within the week. So. And then one of my favorite projects <laughs> yeah, ever. Yeah. Yes, I like so it. So my residency after. project yes. is called Before and After. Yeah. Um, I just graduated college. I'm in Sarasota, Florida because I went to Ringling College. I just graduated in May. I studied animation and illustration there. Um, so my thesis project for my degree was called Before and After, and there was another project there that has the rest of the originals in there. Uh, but it's about buildings uh, across time. So this is a place in Tampa, Florida, called the Rialto oh, Theater. we have someone from yeah, Tampa. Yeah, oh, so yeah. So this is um, over by the IKEA. <laughs> <laughs> it is a beautiful, beautiful building built in the 20s. It's had a really great history. Well, not so great history, but it's been saved by some amazing people. They completely renovated it and they're now holding events and running dance classes and just running a small business out of this beautiful historical building. And, yeah, uh, and I made a piece details. to kind of celebrate that. Time lapse. Yeah, yeah, building it. The layers. So I've got a couple more of these pieces coming out in the next couple weeks. I'm going to be streaming oh, a lot of the process great. on the new ones. And yeah. yeah there's this one. These yeah, ones yeah. Too. This is my thesis yes. project, yeah. Beautiful. OK, so maybe we can switch to your device. What are we going to do? I don't know. <laughs> no one's you told me what them. we're going to do. Yeah. Do you want okay. to ask them? Of course. Um, okay. So do you guys want to see some files? Do you want me to draw? Most of these people I see in chat, I'm like, I recognize you from my channel. They watch me draw all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what do you guys want to see? Do you want to see some brush demos? Um, right now I'm demoing, oh, yeah. I have a booth um, over here on the pavilion floor. I am demoing um, a lot of my brushes. A lot of these are now usable in Adobe Sketch. Yes. from the new update, which is really exciting. Yeah. Um, you can now put Photoshop brushes on your mobile device in Sketch. So nice. that's yeah. very exciting. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. You okay. know, like, let's let's uh, show the brush to understand how you work. Yeah. yeah. And then we can talk about how you animate. Sure. Yeah. So you are using, uh, we need to tell our friends, uh, a Surface I'm using Pro. a Surface Pro 4. Oh, 4. four. Oh, the mm -hmm. And a nice the blue one. Nice keyboard. keyboard. Yeah, I've got a little Bluetooth foldable yeah, keyboard. Yeah, it's really nice. Folds right up. Fits in the pocket. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Really nice. That's my Lucky. setup. This is. I stream from this occasionally, when I'm on the go, for the most part. 
So let me know when we're good. Oh, yeah, we're good. Can you yeah, see yeah. my screen? Yeah. Oh, they can. Okay. Yes. I drew this Let's on the plane it. the other day. Um, and please, it's really the time for you to ask questions, to see it. Yeah. Also, we have Stefan Bauer, so we, you will see it later, but he created um, an extension for Photoshop to create uh, better animation. Yeah, frame by frame animation. Yeah, frame by frame animations. Yeah. It's called Animdesta. Yeah. Uh, so he will present some projects. Everyone in my channel yes. is very familiar. Yeah. yeah and yeah, yeah, and Sid is using Animdesta, so they meet for the first time at Adobe yes. Max in San Diego. Uh, yeah. So that's, that, cool. that's great. Yeah, yeah. That's that's really yeah. Okay, so what are you doing, Sid? Um, this is something that I drew on the plane. I just pulled this open. Um, yeah, just a sketch, you know. Yeah. I had doing... two minutes to heal. It wasn't two minutes, but there were some, I have so 15 was, minutes to draw here. something, okay? I gotta figure this out right now. <laughs> um, so I, I, I don't know. I really like painting things I see in real life. And a lot of that's kind of mundane, but I like kind of highlighting the beauty of the mundane, I guess. So it sounds really cheesy and like kind of dumb, but that's what I do. So I saw a chain link fence on the way to the airport, and I thought in the sun it looks so pretty. In other words, some ivy flowing off of it. And I just, I painted it on the plane. So I made a couple brushes to do this pretty quickly, yeah. and I can demo those brushes today if you guys are cool. Yeah, I saw some uh, some questions people about brushes, brushes, demo. People want to see animation, but I got demo. 15 minutes, people. Yes. So? <laughs> Name my layers, no. No? <laughs> <laughs> I use a lot of layers. Yeah. And this was just a sketch, so yeah. I know where everything is. But she does for you, so sometimes if you need to work for a client, you need to oh, name, yeah. you oh, need you to find, need to label but stuff. when it's just for you. Let me just open up a, another file to show you that this is really nothing. Um, my, for example, the Rialto theater piece that mm -hmm. Michael just showed on my Behance, that went over a thousand layers yes. um, oh. easily. Oh. Most of them were not named, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't have to hand that file off to anybody. Yeah, if you need to manage, if you need to uh, yeah. to export that in another software like uh, yeah. After Effects or do, exactly. do stuff, you need to name at least the group. Oh yeah, uh, yeah at and least. You, I, yes. when I hand off a file, I'll label everything and yeah. I'll also color code. Yeah. Grouping. Yes. Um, so we have a short end board and this is a question for both of you. Like uh, she's a student, like she really like uh, is a beginner, you know, with digital painting. And she uh, so what would be your recommendation like in terms of tablet equipment, you know, to start? Oh yeah. Totally because like the Surface Pro is like a totally depends on what you're doing. Yeah. Yes. Agreed. So let's exactly. say digital painting. For yeah. Let's say something like you. Well, if you're just starting into um, into painting, you don't need anything fancy. I would recommend finding something like a, a bamboo or looking yeah, into bamboo. other brands like Artisol, Unova. There's lots of options now. Um, look into the reviews. Try look look into what other people are talking about the tablets. Find something within your budget. Start small, you know, you don't have to shell out a couple thousand bucks on a device exactly. just to find out you don't like digital painting. It's, you yeah, know, yeah, find yeah. something small and then build up later. Yeah. Someone says my sound isn't loud enough. Can you hear me? Oh, they, they fix that in real time, not for real. Oh, okay. We have Mr. He's in dye my hair. Yeah, I have a fantastic stylist that dyes my hair for me. <laughs> I do not <laughs> do it myself. <laughs> So, okay, so okay. Let, let us know in the chat uh, what you're doing with Photoshop, if you're using Photoshop, I guess. Yes. So who is doing some digital painting or photo compositing? Just let us know in the chat what how you, you use there? Photoshop. Okay, that would so be interesting. I'll just run through my workflow really quick for people who are yeah, not interested or not familiar. Yeah. This is a file that I, it's a series called Cardens. They're car gardens. They're not animated, but um, I started doing these a while ago on my stream. I do one almost every Sunday. Uh, we sit there, we work, and we sketch, and it's a sketch series. And um, for the most part, I will block out a main shape, for example, um, the car. Amazing. So I'm yeah, going to highlight this whole section. So this is just one shape. Let me take all the clipping layers off. I was there only just on this stream. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I didn't even know you were there. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, no, everybody lurks. <laughs> Let me know you're watching me. <laughs> Um, so I start out with a main shape, and then I use clipping masks to go in and add detail and shading. Um, I'll cut out with alphas, so I'm going to remove the, the alpha layer, yeah. and um, that just kind of cuts out. I, I really paint more like a collage artist, I think. <laughs> I don't actually paint. So I don't use any line work, I don't use um, a lot of pressure sensitivity, I don't really use pen tilt. Um, so that's how I work. Everything is built on top of that. Everything is its own layer, so I have maximum editability. Yeah. And you ju just color label the, the, the important layers for exactly, you. Uh, exactly. Just to have a visual. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I made this brush. Um, let me know how I'm go like I don't know what I'm doing on time, so just let me know no, what's no happening. Problem. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna you start have, like, sketching. Uh, We're just 45 minutes. Out. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So I made this little brush that so kind of works. Of, a lot of people the art from sketching, digital painting. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. See editing and sketching. Animated GIF, yeah, thanks for uh, sharing. Oh, yeah. GIF animations. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a GIF animator. Yeah. Yes. It's GIF, by the way. We're gonna get into this. Don't start. Okay. Don't even start. Uh, we have opinions here yeah. at the table. <laughs> Different mood. Indeed. Yeah. So I made this brush, um, trying to get it to line up, but you can kind of cheat textures and stuff. I, I don't spend a lot of time drawing out every single chain link. You don't yeah. need to. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, can yeah, just agree. make a brush um, from a shape, multiply it, kind of, you know, combine it. Do some perspective work on it. Yeah. So Manuel Castro, she's using the Surface Pro 4. Yeah, Surface Pro 4. So lightweight, you know. So kind of looks like a chain link fence, right? Nice. You can, um, oops, sorry about that. Also, I haven't drawn anything today, so yeah. <laughs> I'm not warmed up at all. It's fine. I can kind of so make that multiplied again. Skew it a little bit. Whoops. Get it to match up. I think Spark City did like Jeff versus Gip. Yeah, Joshua. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We know. Yep. We know this there theory. was this official quote like from the creator of yes. uh, the format who says, What does he it's know? Jeff. Yeah, like, who's, yeah. this, who's this guy? Yeah, who's this guy? He just invited the file work. type. Yeah. I mean, we're designers. We should know. It's just one At more thing. At that point, I think it's out of his hands. Yeah. This is my opinion. Is he a geek or, or a geek? Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. He's a geek. It's a, it's a geek. <laughs> so, so it's a gif. Gif. Makes you know? sense. Oh, okay. Yeah, makes Very sense. good. No, no, I know. So I, I made a little fence. Doesn't Maybe make I'll sense. multiply this again. Make a match up down here. Make a little bit longer, you know. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't have to be anything super. Let me flip it. And then what is it at the end? A wall? It's a chain link fence. Oh, yeah. It's a fence. Do you use, uh, you know, perspective it's a, grid? It's okay. No. no? <laughs> For the I just hope it looks good. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, every everybody that watches my streams know that I have no patience, and if it looks okay, then I'm good with it. <laughs> no, but, but but I think uh, you need you need to take a look on, on this one because it's sure. really really handy. I um yeah I mean I'm. I'm trained in perspective, so I know basics. I just don't yeah, sit yeah, yeah, there yeah. and line up all my, no, well, my you, grids you and my You can duplicate in perspective, you sure. can paint on it. Oh, yeah? So yeah, that's, that's the tool is, is building for us. So it's really easy. Yes. Show me. You, you can Show copy, me. Uh, yeah, copy out. <laughs> copy copy something, oh, yeah. something yeah. Uh, on yeah. the copy. I forgot to tell you. Okay. So select, like select uh, one thing. He's one uh, of the biggest example, Photoshop uh, art. With a master. marquee tool, rectangle select marquee it. tool. Okay. So copy in your like uh, clipboard. Copy. Uh, so create a new blank layer okay. uh, on top me. of that to, to put something. And you go in your filter. Filter. Yes. And you have a uh, vanishing point. Vanishing point. And then vanishing point. Now you can uh, put four points to define your, your perspective. So just. Like this? Like this. But you can just really in perspective. So, sorry, yeah, exactly, exactly. Wow. So, if it's yellow, so it's it red, that, that means the perspective is not good, so you need to move a uh, different point, uh, try, etc. But now, if you are there, wow. uh, paste something, so, or draw. If you use the, the, the brush, you can draw now in perspective. Okay, wow. And you can paste in perspective, so now paste your, paste. your thing on the clipboard wow. and yeah. move with your. Uh, with your tool to move. Uh, sorry, the, uh, yes. This one? one? Uh, this one, the, the third we one. We have a oh, seed, and she's, uh, yes. she and, uh, and with that, you can put that in perspective. Wow. So if that was flat, because here, it, that was already, sure. so you can move Ooh. and you can, with alt, alt key, you can duplicate in perspective. Very and interesting. And that's, that's really useful. This is a bad demo, but I can see the applications. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why this would be useful. That's yeah. great. Thank yeah. you. I didn't know that existed. And so. actually, you can use that also to, uh, to create, you know, uh, I saw in, in a lot of uh, uh, digital painting events, yeah. people just starting by 
doing their own perspective grid, yeah. you know, with brushes, there is different method. Yeah. But actually with that, you can do also that is very a perspective useful. grid really easily because when you go in the flyout menu, mm -hmm. I think it's here. There. You have also render a grid to Photoshop. So that means if that was an empty uh, blank you know, canvas, mm -hmm. you will have a grid on, on the layer. So you can dump the opacity wow. and you can do some complex uh, grid uh, with that. Fascinating. That's cool. That's really yeah, yeah. Yeah. I pretend I know what I'm doing. I'm entirely <laughs> no, self-taught. No, you know, you know. This is why I love streaming, it happens though. happens to me oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. every week with it's Stefan. Just, every, project, every program is so complex. There's so no, many small things. Stefan is like things. one yeah. of the biggest Photoshop master in the mm -hmm. world. Yeah, he knows all course. the features. Of course, yeah. He wrote a book also on uh, how to color uh, comics. Mm -hmm. Comics books, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In 2004, so, yes, in Photoshop yes. and uh, So he knows the stuff. He's scary. He knows all the secrets. He scares me all the time. We but all this one is really, really good. Yeah, that's so, great. Yeah, you know, yeah. Okay, pretend we didn't just learn that because I'm just okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, no, no, continue. <laughs> okay, sorry. So we got this, this and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna throw in a background, I guess. But that's cool. It's like oh, and that's why I love streaming. Peter learning that uh, he can create his own brush in Photoshop. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we have you a, definitely yes. can. Exactly. I will show you how to do that if you want. Yeah. If not here on my own channel, I do it all the time. Um, so. That's why I love streaming, though, because you just see yeah. how other people are working. You so see point. what they've figured out on their own, you know? Yes. So and I they just share put the link to your you. Twitch channel Thank so you people for that. can follow you. Yes, please follow me. Uh, because if you like, uh, if you enjoy watching Seed, if you enjoy her illustration, but you want to learn what is her creative process, how yeah. it grows, and also she shares a lot, you know? Yes. Uh, so okay. she shares uh, not only how to draw, but about her career, you know, her I inspiration. Do. We talk about so everything. You can follow her on uh, on Twitch. Mm -hmm. And how many times do you go live? I try to stream every day when I'm home. Every day, I mean. I'm at this point streaming. Um, like full time streamer. At least five to seven hours. I'm trying wow. to get as much work time on my channel as possible. It's amazing. Just for so many reasons. So many reasons, yeah. Yeah. And effectively, so uh, Peter, my... vanishing point was. Effectively for uh, retouching architectural stuff, but effectively oh, yeah, you can true, yeah. you Walls. can work around and and use that for digital painting too. Yeah. Yeah. Stefan is a Photoshop hacker. So yeah. Every uh, time he sees a new feature, he tries to hack it. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun like that, you know. Oh. You know what? As you're working on it, maybe I uh, will show I will show oh, a yeah. project that we did with Stefan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it comes to hacking. That was I think two or three years ago. No? Uh, there is the date here. Yes. No. Yeah. No. Uh, normally. Yeah. There's the. I, I think. Okay. Can you? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. So it's called um, <laughs> the Adobe Creative Cloud <laughs> Espresso, Espresso Cup. Cup. Yes. Let me play the video. So you see, this is a coffee cup. It's a real one. Yeah, yes. we're not fake. Real one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real coffee. Ah. 3D printed. 3D printed in Photoshop. That's yes. cool. So Wait, and this is ceramic. 3D print yes. something in Photoshop. You can recognize uh, Stefan's hand. Yes. A lot of hairs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I'm, I'm a good actor, by the way. You can oh, see yeah, my oh, hand. Yeah. And, uh, very confident. Yeah, very really confident. Uh. <laughs> and if you look at the process, so we do like a simple yes. sketch, and then he created this in Photoshop, yeah. Yeah. like 3D in Photoshop. I don't even yes. know how, how to start with 3D. He uh, rendered something, you know, just. Yes. Just for the fun, let, just let's render something in Photoshop. So just to, to be accurate on, the, on this, and you use the uh, I use Cinema 4D Cinema also 4D. too, to model, uh, yeah. for, the, for the saucer, and uh, the stirrer is the, just, uh, oh, just yeah. by default. In and you remember that? Yeah, I remember. The oh first edition. Uh, the first prototype in plastic. Yes. <laughs> we wanted to, to, to see if the proportion in real uh, yeah. was, was good work. enough. Uh, and this is plastic, so it took 40 minutes. Yes. So it's a time lapse, and then we ended with a, a plastic prototype, and finally we were able from Photoshop to to print it uh, uh, with yeah. a Sculptil, like a yes. French uh, online service for three D printing, and this is like white ceramic. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, fun. we have fun with Stefan in Paris. Yeah, 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 always fun. But that that was your idea. I had the, the coffee machine. You say, oh, yeah, that could be cool. To, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So if you want to follow Stefan, I, I will put uh, the link to his Twitter yeah. account. Okay, well, some people are yeah, me. Okay, let's go back to yeah. Seed. Yeah, yeah. So I couldn't find the brush I wanted to use, so I'm just making it again. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to know how to make a brush, uh, I'm showing you right now. Brush organization is fun. I've got all of my custom ones in here. 
For some reason, this flyout menu, I just updated my Photoshop and it's, it's like over here in the middle of the, I don't know what's happening, but um, I've got all my custom brushes in here and they're all named alphabetically for the most part. Did but if I don't remember, if I don't remember what it's called, then I can't find it. Uh -oh. So <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Um, I've just kind of lassoed off some sections here. Um, I'm gonna make this guy a little bit bigger. So, just for demo purposes, he looks good. We have someone in the chat, Anna Cortez, asking, where can I get the cup? Uh, actually, on and the... you know what? Yeah. We'll give away, this is the first time it will happen. Yeah. -uh. We'll give away the Creative Cloud Espresso cup yes. to someone in the chat. I don't drink actually, coffee. Actually, it's very expensive. So, it's like, it's like, it's a nice price. Because yeah, I can tell really, you that really 3D nice printing, <laughs> uh, 3D printing <laughs> white it's, ceramic. Yes. Uh, we did it once. Yes. Okay, and then we had to sell our kids and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I told you, we, uh, we put online the, the model on Sculpteo. Uh, yeah, yeah. For, and so if you want to, to print yeah, by yourself, order it. Uh, we have the free, free charge for us, no fees, but you need to pay the material and you will realize that. I'm on a, normally on, on Sculpteo, uh, we have that. Okay, nice. Good yeah. to know. So I'm making a brush. So I just defined the shape. I've got it selected just by hitting Control and tapping the layer. So I'm going to say Define Brush Preset. So it pops up there. I'm gonna go customize some stuff uh, within brushes. So we'll give away the cup in uh, 10 minutes, okay? Oh, let me find that. You will see. So I will explain how, how you can uh, win the cup. Ah, so you customize the brush. So I'm changing up some to stuff, explode yeah. Load everything, all the flowers. Yeah. So this is kind of thinking about. Um, yes. So Anna Cortez, you don't need a 3D printer. We will sh we will ship the cup, yeah, the final one. So, uh, it's uh, the link. Ah, oh, you want to? Yes. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Can, can you do it? Yes. I will. Oh. Okay, Andrew, when you see Stefan's screen, he would just share uh, yep. the link on Skilltail. Actually, you will see the price. So yeah, you will yeah. see that we are giving away yes. something very expensive. So here, if you, if you go, uh, if you want to find all my, my link, you just go over there. That's Maril.me. <laughs> and uh, yes. So pretentious. Exactly. But that was free. And so. So French. So here you can uh, order by yourself uh, the cup. So the, the cup itself, the saucer, oh, and, uh, and also the stirrer. So yeah. Okay, so now Sid, you're working on the, on the Photoshop brush. Yeah, I just made this brush. Um, and uh, Stefan, you, you attended the keynote this morning? Yes. Okay. Yes. Quiz exactly. for Stefan. Yes. What did we announce this morning regarding the Photoshop brushes? So two things. We talked about it. <laughs> okay. Two things I really heard. So the first one is now it's supported in, uh, in, uh, in Photoshop Sketch on yeah. mobile. And the second so, one yeah. is the uh, availability for free uh, for the Kyle brushes, Photoshop one. Oh yeah, so there are yeah two enhancements. So it's so regarding Photoshop. So it's true yes. that now uh, like uh, Photoshop Sketch is uh, a mobile app yeah. uh, available on uh, iOS yes. and coming to Android very soon. Um, it lets you like sketch things, but then send it to Photoshop. And it's very natural. I mean, it's uh, we had uh, Rob uh, working in uh, Illustrator yes. Draw on the iPad Pro. Photoshop Sketch is beautiful too. And now you can use and reuse your Photoshop brushes, or yes. indeed yes. Photoshop brushes created by other artists such as Cal Webster, yes. Cal Brush. Do you use Cal brushes? Of course. Yes. Of Everybody. She said, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and I have something for you. So, for you can use them in Photoshop Sketch. Second announcement: Cal Webster, the guy from Cal Brush, will be live with us. Yes, tomorrow also, yeah. on Adobe Live, right after the keynote. So make sure to be there tomorrow on adobelive.com, and uh, you 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 will have the I mean the opportunity to ask questions directly to Cal, and he will show uh, the new brushes in Photoshop Sketch. So this will be awesome. Yeah. Uh, that brush. And is thanks for the question, by the way, Mr. Oh, Mike Chambers. Awesome. I know who you are, but <laughs> it was a very <laughs> very good question. Can they still see what I'm working on? Uh, we have people from Ghana. <laughs> Are they watching me? Cool. I don't know what's out there. Okay. That's all nice. Do you want? Uh, not yet. Oh my god, you're so fast. Yeah. What? I, I just talked about, well, about Carrie Webster and then you have something now. My whole brush skill. Oh my god, she's so I, fast. I uh, really make a lot of brushes just for efficiency because, you know, 
you're using digital, you might as well use the tools available to you. Um, so I made this little kind of ivy brush. Now I'm throwing in some lighting just for fun. Oops, that was too much. Hold on. <laughs> Got the wrong one picked. Hi, uh, Yannerik, good to see you. Yannerik is the king, king Hi, of plants. And, uh, so he just made a new one. Jeu de mots. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Good to see you, Yannerik. Thank you, Anna Carles. Thanks for the feedback. Yeah, and uh, Sid is uh, doing awesome. Hi. Let me know if you have questions. I'm not looking at chat, but I'll just feel them telepathically. So a question for you from okay. uh, Curry Han. Sid, are you doing uh, in the perspective mode now? So, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I got to play with it more. I don't know how to use it fully. Yeah. I'd be fumbling. I'm just... I'm just drawing right now. I yeah. made this brush, and now I'm making it kind of look like some ivy growing on a fence. Okay. Using a lot of... Is there um, a limit to brush creation? To brush what? Is there, is there a limit uh, to brush creation? No. Uh, like trust? No. <laughs> Effectively, no, no real well, limit. Well, do you mean like in terms of how many you can make? No. No? Well, yes. The do you precise the, the question, or... Is that the engine itself, how you make them is limiting because you can only go so big, so small, so yes. yeah. that's limited, of course. But. And depending on the kind of brushes, because you have greaser brush, erodible brushes, it's not exactly the same engine. So and not all of them are the supported in Sketch now at this point. Yes. They might be in the future, I don't know. But, yeah. um, but the right classical now, engine, yes. Yeah, right now you can only do kind of hard brushes. I don't think air brushes are supported. I don't think erodible brushes are supported. Oh, yeah. No, not yet. I was just I was playing with it very briefly this morning. I've got everything. I I, I moved about 30 of my brushes to the yeah. iPad to play with them. I might release them. We'll see. Um, and it's it's very interesting. It does not support TPL, which is something that I had trouble figuring out that's not documented that I could find. Yeah. It only supports ABR within your CC library. Yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, I close. use TPLs. Yes. I, all of my brush yes. sets yeah, yeah, yeah. are TPL. Agree. So I'll, if you want to move them, this is I'm just teaching you what I learned this morning. Um, you just pick one. <laughs> you go into your brush presets in ABR. You save a new ABR. Yes. And then you drag from the brush presets over right. to yes. your CC library. Oh, and then that goes to your iPad automatically. So, really the, the, so the, the TPL brushes is really at the heart of your, yes. of yes. your process. Oh, yeah. Exactly. And, and but in a different process. way than like Kyle uses them, because I'm just I yeah, use yeah. them for efficiency. I use them to um, do work quicker, I guess, to do yeah. some of the work for me. Because like I said, I'm impatient. I want to make stuff quickly. Oh, so. it's like Bob Ross uh, show, you know? Yeah. Using big brushes, using exactly. way to 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 do some exactly. Things. So um, if you want to pull up my portfolio again, I can show you some of the other stuff that I've done with brushes, or I can just do it on my own computer. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I, I will find okay. it. So I'm back on Behance and Andrew will uh, show it now. Okay. So which one do you want to show us it? Um, let's pull up the clouds. clouds. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the cloud sketchbook. Yeah, you should get it now. In the top row, the yes. cloud sketchbook. The clouds. Yes. So I've been traveling wow. a lot. And this oh, is, yeah. Well, just scroll down. This is an evolution. That was no, the no, first no, one I ever yeah. did with these cloud brushes. Yeah. And um, I've been flying a lot. So whenever I have a window seat, I try to make a cloud painting. Um, and I made all of these cloud brushes, so at this point I can make them very quickly. Oh, and Stick, Sticky is there. Sticky says, Hi, Sticky. is a genius. Hi. You too, Sticky. <laughs> Hi, Sticky. Oh, long time no see. That's cool. I mean, look at that. This yeah, is yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Because it changes so quickly, yeah. a lot of this comes from planar painting. I learned yeah. to paint with oil, and I would carry a big, heavy easel out, and I'd try to make something quickly because you know that in three hours the light changes it's a completely different scene so it all comes from this idea I try to get stuff down quickly freshly just as I would with real paint and right, brushes beautiful. come into that because you can do so much with it so quickly so I've made all of these custom brushes for sketching and for this kind of stuff and uh, I think that that's a pretty good workflow yeah. so can maybe you see you... my screen again yeah okay go back so to I'll show screen. you real quick um, so some of those brushes some of the cloud brushes that I was yeah. using Let's say. We'll and then, do. if you could uh, quickly share also how you animate in Photoshop. Oh yeah. For friends, um, because part of your creations are animated. I mean, you yes. can check it on Behance. Of I course. can bring up a file. And yeah. I will share with you in the chat so uh, the link to her Behance account. Make well, sure to follow her on Behance too. So. And um, give some love. Should I? I don't know what I can animate right now. So I did not come to this prepared, but. Um, <laughs> no, the just I can pull up. Um, 
Let me pull up Coneflower. So this is a series I just finished, and some of you have seen me watch this, or seen me make these. I made some of them on the Adobe channel. I streamed yep. a lot of the process. Um, but this is just kind of a, a gift series inspired by the wildflowers where I'm from, northern West Virginia. So I went home over the summer, and um, I saw all of these wildflowers along the road. When the cars went by, they would kind of make them sway. So I made this series, and they're all my bee hands. Um, then you got inspired. All of this is animated in Photoshop, just frame by frame. So you can see my, my file set up here. I've got my animation uh, mm -hmm. folder set up from Anim Dezen, and everything is just hand drawn, hand, hand, um, there we go, oops. Frame by frame. Morning, please. I think that's your, your portfolio. Will you share again the, the portfolio of Steve? Yeah, the, the link to the portfolio? Yeah, I, I, here think, we go. I think so. Link, you will find it. Yes. And uh, and someone is asking you, Sid, how do you find the responsiveness of the, of the Surface Pro 4? Um, I, like I said, I don't use line in my work. Oh, I do yeah. not use pressure sensitivity, and I don't use very much brush tilt. But then when you draw, you don't feel like a, a lag? I mean, For my workflow, no. It is not great. in any way hindering. It is less responsive than, let's say, a Cintiq. But for what I do, it's totally fine. Yeah, I love them. This is my second Surface device, so I'm actually on a Surface panel here in a little while, here at Max. And a question from Elizabeth. Yeah. Uh, your cloud brushes, are, are they av available to download? Not yet. Not yet. yet. But One Seed is uh, part of the... It's a creative residence uh, also for yeah. people you know, and all and why, so this is a program by Adobe where Adobe uh, uh, picks actually uh, very talented artists yes. among yeah. hundreds of applications yeah. and I remember <laughs> I still remember it was in Slack when I saw your project oh yeah oh yeah I, I remember very well <laughs> oh I see we have Alex Ducal also on, online oh, yeah? so and Alex also did a nice brushes and nice panel for Photoshop oh nice one to, to we, do we in, have a lot of in symmetry today. and okay. one also for brushes. Hi, Alex. And a really, really nice. Uh, I'm not familiar with A nice with work plugin. also as a digital artist. I, I got really a. Like. And, and yeah. so, I in part, yeah, out. what I wanted to say is that part of the Creative Residency project is to create and share. Okay, exactly. Like, give it back to the community. So, it's true that so first, right now, Seed shares a lot on Twitch. Yeah. I have a brush set available for Sketch, which oh. I made with Capture. Oh, yeah, I have about 90 yeah. natural media brushes that I made that way is from it, actual um, is it on your know, website? pieces. Um, I'm not sure. No, it's not there. It's on my Twitter. Um, I yes, can use the I link. Okay. Yeah, I don't have an official thing made on my site yet, but um, I will be releasing my brushes soon because of this update. There will be a couple packs coming out. Yeah. And they're asking what is the name of the animation plugin again for Photoshop? Yeah. Yeah. Anim Desin. Yes. Thank you for answering in the chat. There's a two. And Stefan created Anim Anim Yes. When was it like two years ago? Oh, more. Oh, uh, no. The first version was for CS5. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, and CS4 <laughs> compatible. So old. Yes. So, so old. old. Yes. But uh, with CS6, because <laughs> of uh, the video group, uh, yeah. you know that, that enhances a lot, game a lot of. Yeah. Game, game changer. Game changer, yes. Interesting. Because now you don't have to have these huge chains of, yeah. of stuff that you could just line them all up in the timeline. And, and if you want to uh, to change your exposition, it's really easier exactly. because that will push the other layers. And, uh, so like I said, I just um, updated my Photoshop this morning, so yeah. I would have the brush. I don't have the I don't have it installed oh, yeah, yet. Yeah, it's not yeah, up yeah, here. Yeah. So, but uh, I can yeah, at least show uh, you how frame by frame in Photoshop. Uh, uh, normal, nice. Normally, take a look at your window. A new generation uh, of your extension. CC 2017. Uh, no, no migra migration. Okay, we will uh, we will work on that. Yeah, I gotta pull it back in. Yes. Yeah. I've only got that Twitch chat by a certain Elsie Finch <laughs> loaded Elsie in. Finch is yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, so I take this one for Chuck. Yes, uh, Anim Design works for the lat latest version of Photoshop, and uh, the installer is in my uh, my GitHub. So the link is on the. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. On the yeah. sbarrel.me. Yes. Okay, I will put it again. To get uh, any of this, uh, Are there any questions about animation or should I keep drawing? <laughs> oh, just keep drawing. Okay. I mean, yes. We love it. Pull the file up, but you know. There you go. So, uh, beyond before and after project, do you have a, another concept in mind? Well, before and after, I'm going to be doing a lot more of them. I've got okay. three lined up, and then I've got four more buildings that I'm going to be doing. So this is kind of a long-term thing. Okay. Um, 
long term after my residency, I would love to be a full-time streamer. I'm really working towards yeah. that on my channel, just so I can share my process, um, be supportive in that way, um, and make my work on stream, monetizing that part a little bit of it is, you know, an issue. Um, artists need to be paid. We have bills too, but um, making my work, selling my work that way. Long-term goals, I want to make a short film. Um, I would love to work on more game projects. I worked on a game for two years, and I really missed game asset production. Like, that was a really good experience, so. What kind of game? Um, it's an adventure game. It's called Jenny LeClue. Yeah, it's about a detective girl. Um, all the work is on my behance, so, yeah. Nice, yeah. They will love this industry. Hey, Mark. Okay, Hi. Sticky. <laughs> which, bro which brush pack? I linked you. On Twitter, you've yep. got that link, Sticky. I will find it. Yeah, it's just in my... Uh... Oh, okay. So, uh, look, yes. So, um, interesting link to do uh, to do extension. Actually, uh, we discussed that I'm not developer at all, and I'm doing all my extension with uh, right. with Brackets, which is uh, the open source... Uh, Code editor for yes, JavaScript. Uh, yeah. Exactly, and uh, one of our colleagues, David Dorat, yeah, uh, did an extension for brackets to start an extension for Photoshop oh, nice. with Water on Tube. And I'm doing, I'm, I'm working on a lot of uh, action uh, step by step automation. And I, I'm using the X tools from PS Scripts uh, to convert this action in uh, GSX. And I just add some code snippet to, for example, to, to have just one undo in, in place of 10 steps, for example, to undo. Stuff, so. Interesting. And it's HTML, so CSS uh, for the, the UI in HTML, so yes. And I think I have one link or two on my, uh, on my, uh, yeah, on my site, it. yes. And uh, see, so someone was asking... What? Uh, do you use other add-ons or plugins? I use what? Uh, other plugins in Photoshop? Um, in only in Amdesen for the no, most part. Yeah. I... Oh. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's it. I highly that's recommend it. the uh, Alex de Calzoris on the, yeah. on, on the, on the chat. And uh, the one, so for symmetry, is really, really, really okay. cool. So you I just do a lot of symmetric work. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, 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 or to start points mm -hmm. or at some point uh, if you want. It's yeah. really cool. Yeah, I'll have to get, can you like send me his name? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Or Alex. something at some point, not right now maybe, but yes. I really want to look his stuff up. So that's the work of Alex Ducal. Yeah, okay. Yes. Thank you. Oh, I can move here. Uh, oh, yeah, yes, Alex Ducal. <laughs> nice. Yes. Okay, Andrew, nice work. I yeah. really, really like his work. Just made a typo. <laughs> yes. Andrew, I'm ready. Yes. Okay, so this is the work of Alex Ducal. Uh, so he's in the chat? Yeah, with yeah, us? yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, go to the, the store. I go to the store. Yes. And you'll have, uh, oh. so plasticine, the last one is really cool. Oh, nice. You have symmetries, uh, Bluetooth, uh, LA Bluetooth yeah, symmetries. Nice. And it's also nice, nice, nice for Okay, it's a great resource. And, and by the way, really, really highly yeah. talented, so yes. Hi, Alex. Good work. Yeah. Good work, Alex. And it's good that we share you know, on these live streams, you know. And we have I didn't a, even know about it. A lot of artists uh, for three days uh, sharing their process, like Seed, uh, sharing their knowledge, like, uh, like Stefan. Um, actually, who will be next? Next will be Brian Lear, and uh, she's a oh, Photoshop yeah. expert. Yeah, you know yes. Brian? Yeah. Yes. So she will share some Photoshop I will be your uh, teacher assistant. Oh, you're the, t you're uh, the yeah. TA. Okay. Yes. That's interesting. And yeah, so if you just joined, we are live from Adobe Max, which is uh, the Adobe Creativity Conference, live from San Diego with more than 10,000 people That's around us. Huge. Yeah. huge. <laughs> and we are in the middle of the community pavilion with uh, people walking it's around. Surprisingly quiet. Yeah, it's yeah. very quiet. Because there are some sessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah at the yeah, same yeah. time. So yeah. On the first day, you want to go to the sessions, and we are very serious. Yeah. And then. <laughs> Uh, day two, yeah. And day three, uh, after the bash party. Day three, yeah. the party, like, like, <laughs> my talk is on day three, and I have very low sign-ups currently. I suspect these are the reasons. Oh. And what time is your talk? Um, it's the last hour of the conference. It's the last hour. Yeah. Okay, I think it will be recorded. Yeah. Like slide and voice, mm -hmm. so this is something we can yeah. encourage you, people in the chat, to watch your replays on the Max website later. Sit still. It's going to be about creative streaming. Yeah. And the cup, they want the cup. Okay. 
They won the cup. They want to win the Crave Cup. The cup. Oh, okay, I don't know why I say that. I but don't know. That's fine. I, we don't know. Okay. You need to enter in the chat a secret keyword to yes. get a chance to win uh, the cup. Also, make sure that you subscribe to the Creative Cloud channel. Uh, subscribing to the YouTube Creative Cloud channel gives you more chances, and there is a subscribe button at the bottom of the UI, so it's very easy yes. to find. Um, so the secret keyword is on which platform uh, those seed stream oh, yeah. almost every day? On which platform, streaming platform, can you find seed sharing her creative process almost every day? Okay, so I, I'll let you type the name of this platform in the chat. And then our robot, Nightbot, will pick the winner. Yeah, Oops. for the delay here. Yes. Oh yeah, there was like a 30 seconds yeah. delay. Yeah. But this will, uh, yeah, this is coming. Okay, yep. someone got it. Oh, oh. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. We have there some good go. candidates. You should all be following me on said platform. I want to oh. see you in my chat. Oh, 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 yes. Yeah, this is coming. Okay. And uh, Ninebot will pick someone who will receive a Credit Cloud Espresso Cup. There are only five in the world, to be honest. Yes. I don't only even five have in one. the world. It's very clear. I don't even have one. Yes. And actually, and this will be signed by uh, Stefan and myself. Yes. Okay, we will send a note. Yeah. A nice word. So, who will get the Credit Cloud Espresso Cup? Who knows? Uh, also, Seed, you're creating stuff on the booth. On the, we, so we have a booth, I am. the creative residency booth, and see the creative, uh, what's the name, bandanas? Yeah, so we've got printed bandanas printed of bandanas. my um, weeds and wildflower series, we've got Prince of the Carden series, and I've got oh, trash dove stickers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for mine, but I think it's in my room. Yeah. And yeah, it's beautiful. Wow, thank you. Okay, night bots. Do your thing. Pick the winner. <laughs> Lucas Mancini. Lucas Mancini. Yes, sir. Congratulations. You will receive the espresso cup. Congrats, Lucas. If they respond, right? Oh. Uh -oh. Nice. oh, yeah. Oh, don't worry. They are there. Nightbot is very smart. <laughs> so you need, Lucas, you need to reach me on Twitter, okay? And my Twitter is. M says. Okay, so send me a message. I will follow you back, and then uh, just get your information so we can ship the cup. Yeah. Cool. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. Lucas. Uh, he says thank you. And maybe yes. Lucas, you can tell us where you're from, which country. Yes. Always interesting. With a beautiful name like this. Would be Italia. I wouldn't be surprised, but who knows? Yeah. Who knows? And there will be more giveaways all day long, okay? Like, uh, and it really depends on my mood, you know? What I've eaten in the morning. You have to it keep them yeah, in a good. <laughs> people are gonna like <laughs> be Uber eating you like a milkshake or something. Like. <laughs> uh, my soul, Nightbot hates me, so be very nice with Nightbot, actually. Uh, Nightbot. My advice just say something nice to Nightbot, and, uh, and then you will get more chances. Which oh, is Canada. not true. So, Canada. Uh, uh, Lucas is from yes. Canada. Yes. Nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a big country. Oh, yeah, a big one. Yes, Pigeon back. Working on some <laughs> birds. I'm just still drawing, oh, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm over oh, here. It looks great. Yeah. It's kind of doodling. What is coming now? Huh? Birds? Yeah. Trash doves? <laughs> nah, just birds. No. Nice Maybe birds. Maybe secret trash dogs. Wow, nice. So we are very lucky to have Sid and Stefan with us, uh, working live. Thanks again for it. Uh, so Sid working live, really yeah. just I mean, talking, saying in ten years, stu stupid working things. Working with Stefan at Adobe, I never saw him work. I mean, yeah. not really. Maybe one day. Working? Oh no. Thirty minutes. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my God, Libby. Libby, I want you to 
to tell our audience what is the creative residency program. <laughs> yes. You come? Libby brought me lunch. So Look Libby at this. is uh, ah. the manager of the program, and uh, okay. for people watching the keynote this morning, uh, it was on the keynote on the wall. I mean, it was beautiful. Yeah. Um, so you got a little bit of overview of the creative residency this morning, but it's a one-year program, and people like Sid get to do it, get to pursue their passion project, and work on their skills, and really um, create unique personal work that um, really kind of goes beyond what their expectations are too. So that's pretty much it. That was Libby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I have a plate full of food on my lap now. And we <laughs> have, so we had two creative residents last year, and uh, this year we have four. So four of us. Seed, we have Christine, who is uh, working on lettering, graphic design. We have Craig, uh, who does um, interactive installation. You know, he, he takes the ghost signs, you know, on the wall, like very oh, old yeah. signs. Yeah, and yeah. then he will do map projection to project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so he does all the things. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Really cool. And we have Sa uh, Sarah Dicci, yeah. uh, who is awesome. on YouTube, and she... She's, uh, she has a blog, very popular blog, but also she has this TV show, uh, I mean, YouTube show, sorry, Creative Spaces, yeah. where she meets uh, artists in their studio, and it's, uh, it's amazing. Yes, I'm using the Microsoft Foldable keyboard. Share the food. No, she, she, we are, so YouTube is not that advanced. <laughs> We're not able to It smells to share really good, food. though. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky, I mean. So right after this, I'm going over to the Microsoft oh, yeah, panel. Really I'm on a, I was invited by Microsoft to do a panel about, or be on a panel about creatives using this device and other devices, you know? So I was yeah, in my yeah. booth this morning, now I'm here, and then I go there, and I was like, wait, wait how do I get to eat lunch? <laughs> so plate. Libby, who was just and here, Libby, she's amazing. She so just nice. went and got me food, and oh my gosh. Was that and Uber Eats? Yeah, Libby works for Steve, Uber yeah. also yeah. on the side. What's the age limit for creative residents? No limit. <laughs> Don't tell her that. No limit for age. As far as I know. As far as I know. <laughs> uh, so Jimmy Mitchell is asking. Oh. Lunch will be closed in 15 minutes. Lunch will be closed. Okay, okay. I won't have lunch today. Oh. You didn't have you or something. I didn't have breakfast, no lunch. Okay. Free lunch with the Yesterday I didn't eat also. anything. So I'm getting used to that. Yeah. It's my new diet. <laughs> Stop eating. Uh, so Jimmy Mitchell has a geography trivia question for you. Okay. How far is uh, Adobe Max from Pan Springs? Dun, 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 it's drivable. I mean, it's drivable. I know someone That's who the right is answer. Coming. Yes. Or <laughs> going the there answer tomorrow, is so. it's drivable. To be honest, I don't. Know. I'm. It's north, right? I'm gonna guess an hour and a half north. Okay. I don't know. You, you, you get your answer. You'll I'm from the east coast. I don't know west coast. I mean, guys, open Google Map. You know, we have some services now. But if you prefer to ask Sid, I mean, I prefer Sid. to trust Seed rather than Google Maps. It's <laughs> my take. Someone's asking me if I got a studio, and am I getting one? I am very excited about the studio. I think it's a really beautiful device. I got to test one. So I'm that's the Microsoft testing. Surface Studio. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to be testing one later today as well. Precise. Um, I stream from my desktop, which is more powerful than the Surface, and I have a Cintiq set up there. I have a 34-inch <laughs> monitor on top of it. So at this point, I don't have a need for the studio until it gets a little bit more powerful. But it is very nice, and I would like to play with one. <laughs> yeah, I'm allowed to play. Yeah. I will do. I will do. I'm excited those. about yeah. them for sure. I think it's a. I think it's amazing, like that that device is being made for creatives. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Uh, Michael, will you be giving away more mo Adobe Mobile Prints? Yes, I will, Mike, in the next show. So this will be with Brian Lear. Oh, can you see that? That's it. What? What I'm giving away. You will be super jealous. Oh, yes. Well, you're going to show <laughs> Great. <laughs> no, beautiful. All these illustrations beautiful. made on with mobile apps. Wow. These are gorgeous. And with the portraits by uh, Rob Generate, oh, yeah. the artist, oh, Dan Mumford. Very nice. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Very nice. And we don't, we, we, I don't just give away like one. You know, I'm not cheap. You get all of them? Yeah. All of them. Nice. Very nice. So this will be during the next stream with Brian Stay with us. She will be live in uh, 12 minutes, 11 minutes actually. And um, see, we have to say goodbye in six minutes. Yeah. So I'm just. You have time. Every, you can add a you building. Got six. <laughs> yeah. You got six minutes to ask me questions. But, yeah, questions <laughs> for Seed, Stefan. Yeah. So, 
Do you prefer a PC or a Mac? So that's oh, one PC. Question. I've been PC so for PC, years. Yes. Just because um, of hardware. Yeah. It's a little bit harder to get hardware for a Mac. More expensive. Um, I actually, my, my computer, my desktop computer that I use to stream now was originally built for 3D work. Um, so it was a kind of a small render engine and um, I was working with Maya originally. So when I switched over to needing to encode and work in large Photoshop files at the same time, I happened to have this machine that would do that. And now at this point, I just kind of upgrade pieces per year. Mm -hmm. So I don't ever have to put in tons of money on a new device. Mm -hmm. It's really, really nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, very good question by uh, Rebecca. Pizza or macaroni? Yes. Pizza or macaroni. Important. Why not both? Put them together. Yeah. Macaroni pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Unfair ultimatum. Uh, Michael, were those made during the creative sessions? Yeah, uh, myself. So it was during the Make It On Mobile um, two operations. One it was in, one in New York and the other one in San Francisco. And uh, yeah, so we are live. I see uh, someone from Belgium watching us. Yeah, you don't want to. to, to Everyone meet this wants. Guy. Physical trash dove stickers. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I am making physical trash dove yeah. stickers. You yeah, know that, Wes. <laughs> yeah. I saw it's that so on cool. Twitter. Mm -hmm. I saw the yeah. big uh, stack of stickers. Where is Brizzly? Where is what? Brizzly. Uh, Beasley, oh, my dog. My dog, Where's Beasley. Dog? Yeah. She's at home with my mom and dad. <laughs> my sister got to come down to Florida for a couple of days and flew home with her. So that my uh, oh. my boyfriend Jacob could come here with me. Nice. So Jimmy has a very deep question. Like, do you think that all this technology mm -hmm. has enhanced your creativity or endured it? Oh, enhanced entirely. Enhanced. But this is kind of an idea that's been around for a while for me. Um, okay. When I was maybe 11, I was really obsessed with this website called Neopets. Some of you may remember it. <laughs> <laughs> um, And I really, I, I was really into drawing my little characters and such. I feel like this is relatable to a lot of people in chat. But um, one of my friends was doing these really cool paintings. I was like, how are you painting these? Because I'm like with my colored pencils and it, it looked terrible, but hers were so clean. And she was like, I'm using a computer. I'm using Photoshop and a tablet. So I'm like, hey dad, I want Photoshop and a tablet. You know, what is money? And um, my dad comes back and he found one of these Toshiba laptops and it was a, kind of an older thing and it flipped around and it had the pen oh, yeah, stylus. Yeah. It was not pressure sensitive. Yeah. Okay. But all of a sudden I had this mobile computer that I could take anywhere that had colors and brushes and layers oh, and nice. undo and this is not a new idea for me. I've, I've always kind of done digital work like this and um, because you can have all those tools. I have them in my backpack. I don't have to carry around paint. I don't have to set up an easel. I don't have to clean up a mess afterwards. Yes. It's so much more convenient. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Anna Maria Island? No, I've never been there actually. Okay, we. I think we have time for one more question for Seed. One more question. So. What was my favorite Neopet? Oh, Shoiru. <laughs> <laughs> What is Neopet? I have no idea. It was is a it website like where you could have digital or? pets. <laughs> Like Pokemon? Oh, digital no, pets. No, no, it wasn't like and you, and you have to you have take to care of them. them yeah. and, oh, you have to I earn see. money to feed them. It's like really? real life, but on the computer. <laughs> are the wireframes uh, just for perspective? No, it's like a fence. I just so didn't all, finish. Are the wireframes just for perspective? I just didn't finish the drawing. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll show you the other one that I was I was working on. Oh yeah, the other one you were working on. I cropped on? it down, but um, it's that yes. one. Do I do any 3D work? Used to. Not anymore. Will one day. Shoiru. <laughs> And do you do any 3D work? I used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will one day. Um, again. Maybe in the future What soon. What did you use? Maya. Maya? Oh yeah, like Maya. big time. Yeah. How do you have such beautiful hair? I guess hair. Hair. Guess the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A very talented uh, hair artist gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> And yes, so she's using the Vanishy fonts. Uh, so the good news is that you will be able to watch the replay, yep. maybe in uh, 15 minutes only, on adobelive.com. And yep. then uh, if you uh, scrub back to uh, the beginning of the show, you will see how she is in the perspective and everything in the vanishing points. Any After Effects? And no. I animate in Photoshop. Yeah, and it works. I mean, 
Oh, it yeah. gives also a very good style. So, yeah, What's I think it makes feelings? sense. Oh, my friends, we have to say goodbye. Yes. Okay, it's already That's time. It. Yeah, it's oh. already. So thanks again thanks so Thank yeah. you guys. for being there. Thank I mean, you guys. it was it was great. Uh, make sure to follow Seed on Twitch. Also, Twitter, uh, Twitch. Stefan Bauerl on Twitter. You can reach me anytime. He's the Photoshop yep. master. And uh, we will be live in five minutes. We will be back with Brian Lear, and she will share some Photoshop tips uh, with the host. I don't remember who will host that. Is it your Rufus? Yes. And Rufus will be hosting. Oh no, she's there. I saw her. Uh, she's around. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, everyone. And Bye. Uh, stay with us on Adobe Live. We will be back in five minutes. Thank you, guys. Bye. Are we done? That's it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It will uh, refresh.